Good evening, everyone. I'm going to try and see if I can do this. I'm by myself and I just got home late. But I thought it would be better to try it than not try it. It's going to be a little tough for me to see if anyone makes some comments. I got phone is propped up in the paper towel holder. Um, I'm going to try to get it going on my computer. My connector, you're here. Yes. Okay, so I've got it next to my, I've got the computer guys next to the thing, so if you do ask some questions during this one, I probably will see it. I'll do my best. But uh, again, it's a late one. It's 10, 10 o'clock, but I still got to feed the dog, so I thought I'll give it a shot anyway, and we'll go live with it. But um, I'm going to continue doing what we've been doing. Um, I got a ton of really good questions today. Um, another thing I, I thought was awesome was I'm getting a ton of people sending videos and pictures and comments and stuff about um, place training. So we started this whole thing with her with place training. We're continuing to do place training, but what I really like about it is it sounds like um, – a lot of people are having success with it. I had a lot of people that were first timers um, sending some pictures uh, and videos and, and messages. So awesome. That's the whole point. Keep doing that if you would. Um, I'm going to remind myself this time. If It's really late, obviously, but if uh, you would do me a favor, there aren't that many people on right now, so it won't take much, uh, to share this while we're doing it so that other people can see it, and I should be better about the times that I do it. But um, like I said, I think I typed it in here, better late than never. Um, we're just going to try to get it in here. It probably won't be as long as it normally is. So I got the bowl of food. I'm all, I don't have red to help me with tonight. So I got the bowl of food um, this morning. If you watched back or if you didn't see it, you can see a lot of excitement out of her now with the food here. So I'm going to set it in the exact same spot. I'm going to hold on to her. And I'm going to talk a little louder because I think sometimes it's hard to hear me. But um, this morning, I think it took about, like I watched back on it. Our whole thing took like 50-some minutes live. Um, that's pretty long. I don't expect a lot. I, I think it's hard to be able to watch that. But I think the reality is, is that's how long it takes sometimes to get the change that we're looking for. My hope is that I'm able to shrink that up. And we've only into like the third day of it. So... I expect that it will. Um, if you want to cheat and read the cliff notes of this morning's live, I think it's around a minute, like, I want to say it was right around 29 minutes left in it. So I don't know what the math on that one was, but probably like 26 minutes into it, something like that, um, is where the little puppy just laid down in my arms. Almost seemed like it was falling, she was falling asleep. So. getting a change out of her this early real just just getting started on this now one thing I got against me is she's really hungry tonight she's super hungry um, it's four hours five, four and a half hours maybe later than normally I guess we feed her usually around five so five hours later than normal so um, she's very hungry which I would expect her to be less settled as quickly but one thing I'm noticing is she's Healing really good. She's not fussing nearly as much. She's real limp in my arms right now, which is great. That's what I'm looking for. This morning when she did that, she almost fell asleep. I felt like her head went down, her whole body did. And I kind of, it's hard for you guys to hear that, so I'm going to talk a little bit louder. But I was whispering to Red, is she sleeping? Because right at that, I think it was like 29 minutes left, all of a sudden I had this little dog go like this. And that was the change I was looking for. I counted to 10 and then I let her down. This is really good. I don't have any dogs out, so she's not focused on any of that stuff. Usually I have a dog laying there. She's not tonight. A hundred times better right now. This is the best she's done. I'm not going to push it any longer. I'm going to count to 10. And if I can get her without crying, she's going to eat. That's it. I'm feeding her. So 
I'm going to show you guys how quickly that, that was awesome. So that was a huge improvement. Um, let's see, I'm going to switch this around. That was a great, great, great improvement. Jessica wants to buy one. I want to train more of them if I could. Um, Jessica, I think you sent me a message yesterday. I'll reach out to you on a message um, for more info. But So let me see if this is working. Um, that was the best little training we've done yet. So what, what I am optimistic about is the improvement that we just saw in the last three days, I guess. Is if you go back, I, you, I think you, you can go back and watch all these old ones, and uh, you'll see it was quite a struggle even up till this morning. So I always talk, I talk a lot about um, when we're doing some training stuff, I see like little switches, like little light switches go on with these dogs. Tonight, the little light bulb went on a little bit. Um, so that was, that was tremendous. I'm jacked about it. Um, I gotta get, I've gotta get one of these dogs that's wrestling with a kennel, with a bowl here out. But, uh, so that was great. That was really good. Um, question from Brian. How much is a train dog? Well, um, I'm assuming you're, you mean from us. We, we do a limited number of dogs each year. Um, I don't do a ton of them because of time and uh, space. I just don't. We raise them one-on-one. -on -one. We raise them just like I would my own personal dogs. They're expensive. Um, and so right now we've got about a three-year waiting list for dogs um, where if you put a deposit down today, you, I, I, I think I would start it probably in the next three years. That would be my plan. Um, they're expensive. They start, it just depends on what we're going to do with them. Um, the pups are all coming from Wild Rose. So the price of the puppies is, is the same as if you bought it from Wild Rose. Um, th that's, the pups are 2000 um, Our price includes the puppy. We start at like 15 and we go up from there. Um, so some of our dogs are just shed hunting. Some of them are shed, most of them are shed hunting and tracking. Um, several of them are doing birds as well. I've, I've, the last probably three or four that I've done are doing birds on top of the shed hunting and the tracking. So we, it takes a little more time. Um, we've got one that was certified as a therapy dog. Um, that's one of our personal dogs. So we can do all sorts of stuff. Um, it kind of, so the prices kind of vary from depending on what we're going to do, but they start around 15 and they go up from there. Um, and time on that, there is no time. I don't do it by the month. I don't do it. It's, it's, we have a set price. And, um, when the dog is done or when I feel like the dog is ready and that people are ready, um, that's when the dog goes home. There's no time on it. So sometimes I have them for a year. Sometimes I have them to, for two years. It, it just depends. Um, but I think what's really important is I think you have to train the trainer as much as you do the dog. That's why I really think people can train their own dogs. I don't think you have to send your dog to us um, to get a good dog. You can, so many people are capable of doing this. It's figuring out how to do it. Look at what I've done here this, so far in the last two weeks with this little dog, Spry. Um, she's coming along pretty nicely. I've, I've admittedly started some of the things a little late, but um, in three days, look at, the, look at the progress we've made with her steadying up for feeding. Now, if I get another day of this, solid um, we'll take the next step we'll put her on the ground and we'll start steadying her up on the ground um, look at the place training that we've been able to do so as she finishes up her food I'm gonna get her bed ready and then we'll put her on place and then uh, if you guys got some questions I can start answering that too but I know it's late so tonight's not gonna be nearly as long of one but um, one of the things that someone asked about this morning was an extension on this crate training um, and I thought it was important to talk about because I got a lot of questions about the crate training stuff come up especially with with this little one so we'll watch her settle in on her place now after she ate um, one of the one of the questions that came up was what do you do you I think people are confused and think I leave the dogs on place all day I don't 
um, we we don't. I don't just leave them on here. I uh, I gotta plug in or I'm gonna die in my battery. Um, during the day, like her, when I got done filming this morning and when I got done filming tonight, now I'm gonna finish finish up and we're gonna have just place training. I'm gonna answer whatever questions and then we'll probably shut her down. So this will be 